All right, guys, welcome back into Indie b and Today I am joined by Tyke James of The Moss. Tyke, how are things out in California? Up? Things are good. I'm actually in Hawaii. I live, I, I mean, not in Hawaii. I'm in Utah. I live in Utah. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, all right. Well, still, uh, we, uh, we always, us East Coasters are always having that East Coast bias. We all think everybody lives in California from the West Coast. So my apologies, brother. Um, no worries, no worries. Totally get it. So you're getting some good snow in then, I probably right now. You guys are a little cold, dude. I've I've been extra cold this winter, but the snow has been absolutely insane. Uh, it's just been snowing nonstop. It's crazy. Cool. Well, do you uh, participate in any of these uh, any of these winter sports? We get into a little snowboarding, skiing. We go snowshoeing. Any of those things? Uh, I like I, I like some winter hikes. Uh, but mainly snowboarding is what I like to do in the winter. Um, I feel lucky to be able to go up and snowboard, uh, especially in Utah. I feel like it's just such a great place to do it. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Well, cool, man. We'll, we'll, we're super excited about learning about the moss today and, and just getting into the you know, origin story. So, I mean, I always like, we always like to start sometimes with the name. I mean, what's in the name? What, what, uh, what, what drove you to want to talk about the moss and be the moss? Yeah, uh, I, I, I've always loved plants, um, and moss is something in particular that kind of just prevails wherever it is, um, like it just finds a way to grow in like unlikely circumstances, and it's also just really important to the nervous system of the planet. Um, but like, I also feel like no one really, no one really. Like no, like no one like loves or hates moss, so that's kind of why. <laughs> that's kind of what. That's honestly the one of the main things that like uh, drove me to to like moss. But anyway, yeah. we've also like uh, members of the band. We've had a couple like wild experiences with moss. Um, but other than that, it was just kind of I just really like the plant itself. Very cool. Well, awesome, man. Well, like, are you, uh, do you have, do you plan a lot yourself, you know, around your, uh, your humble abode or do you, uh, you, you into that a little bit? You mean, you mean like I got plants? Yeah. You got plants? Man? Yeah, I got, I got, I got tons of plants. Uh, <laughs> look, look, my, my plant game stepped up, uh, big when me and my girlfriend moved in together. Um, cause she has a lot of plants as well, but I have a couple, I've got like, a cane tree you know that is that's like that was like one of my first plants and then um then I just kind of helped take care of hers I've got I've got a couple more like to my name I guess too but we share you know, it's all good I like it but, I like it yeah but I live in a trailer so it's like we are our, our kind of like goal is to just have like more plants sorry about that beeping oh good bro my, my car is insane I hope it's not too loud I'm gonna I'm gonna stop driving soon <laughs> but uh anyway uh yeah love plants got a good plants i live in a trailer so our like our kind of main goal is to just have like more plants than seem okay in the trailer uh gotcha we're good um you know so i want to get into the music here you know obviously you guys when did you guys first start you know what you guys seem like you've been around for a little bit you've had a couple albums come out so you know for you you know did you start it together with somebody else or what, what's the story behind there? Yeah. So, uh, I met my friend Addison who plays guitar in the band. Uh, we were like 14. Um, and we met our parents. Well, I actually bought a surfboard from him and that was like our first interaction. <laughs> um, and then, and then we were just like, oh, you, like, you play music? Maybe we should just, like, play some music. We didn't really have – well, I at least didn't have friends because this was, like, kind of, like, when I would recently moved out to we, – we, I grew up on Oahu, so him and I grew up uh, on the north shore of Oahu. But anyway, we we kind of heard each other. Like, we lived in the same neighborhood and then just kind of, like, started jamming. And then a couple years later, after kind of just playing a couple, like, restaurants and house shows we put out a couple songs um and then in like the end or at, yeah in 2019 
we started kind of officially playing with the other members of the band. Um, Briarton, who is Addison's older brother, and Willie, who actually we also met in Hawaii. Uh, he went to school. He went to BYUH out there um, on the North Shore. So um, we'd actually jammed with him out in Hawaii, but we never he'd never played drums with us like he does now. So like 2019 was officially like, OK, Willie on drums. We actually had like a lineup that we like played with um, consistently. So and that was yeah. in Utah. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't that was in Utah. So yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So have you been in Utah since 2019? Um, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, gotcha. Well, cool. So it sounds like I me, mean, you, 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 you and Addison have been been friends for probably probably a minute here. So that's that's awesome to hear that it's like kind of come from just a, a a surfboard sale to now you know a full on band with a with a solid lineup doing a doing a big tour coming up here so talk talk about that i mean like you guys are coming to our city in atlanta uh on the 24th i mean what's the uh what's that look like for you guys you know starting out where you guys starting out and you excited yeah yeah so pumped uh we're 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 going out to south by southwest uh which is in austin texas yeah um and uh, we're we're gonna be out there for a few days playing some shows and like showcases and stuff, and then um, and then to be completely honest, I don't know off the top of my head the cities we're hitting, but I do know that we're ending it in Atlanta. Um, so, but it's only it's only about a week of shows, like five or six shows um, after South by Southwest, so nothing crazy, um, but it's kind of the best the best tight you know just just quick and we get to go super hard every night and just have a good time really I like it i like it that's good well um we're glad to, glad to be your glad to be your finale city you guys are gonna it's gonna be good to good to be here and see you guys in person so um talk about you know yeah. you guys have just released an ep um insomnia uh, i guess you know a few months ago and so um we always like to do a song spotlight on this and although I want to talk about insomnia in a minute, but I really gravitated towards Tra Chaparral as the kind of the, the jam that really stuck out to me is, you know, varying levels of, you know, fast and slow with it. Um, really, really enjoyed that track. So, you know, we always like to understand your writing process. And so how did you, you know, start that song? You know, how, what's the process look like to, to get it to that finished product? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, let's go for Chaparral. I haven't talked much about this song. I think, like, um, this was a really fun song to make because, like the other songs on the EP, like, most of the time I will write the song and then bring it to everyone, and then we kind of, like, recompose it and come up with new parts and stuff like that. Um, but for Chaparral, it was, like, let's write a song. And then... Um, it was, we were like, we want, we really liked this time signature 7-4, um, which is what like kind of the weird feel is in the chorus of it. The dun 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 So that is in like 7-4, uh, which is just kind of like a funky time signature. Um, and so originally, I think we were going to try and write a whole song in 7-4. Um, uh, to those chords okay wait and um then we kind of just decided i don't know it kind of just came about that we like you know came up with the chords we liked um and geez i'm so sorry about that beeping i just need to like i'm gonna i'm gonna be done driving in like two minutes okay. um yeah and uh so basically started writing it in a funky time signature that was fun for us and then um yeah it, a lot of the songs on the ep same with insomnia and blink were songs we kind of just started writing all together and then they just kind of came about uh really naturally like with the band like something you know we've never like as a band tried to make a sound like we never tried to sound a certain way or like go for like Oh, let's like let's make like a, you know, uh, a rock song that sounds like the Guns N' Roses. We kind of just like 
play until a song sort of formulates. Uh, and so that's kind of, I, I guess that's kind of like our writing process. And with Shop Barella is just that, like we liked this certain time signature and then just kind of naturally came around. And then for the lyrics, the lyrics are kind of thematic for the whole EP, just about this sort of things I was learning about myself and just kind of um, codependency I was working through and I'm still kind of working through, but anyway. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I think of that, I love that 7-4, uh, 7-4 time signature. I think you you mentioned that you lived in Hawaii for a certain amount of time. And, like, I got the island, you know, I got an island vibe from everything you guys had put out. Um, and so I think that that kind of comes in and, and, and definitely comes in in ways definitely with that song, too. So um, very cool. So a lot of co-writing, it sounds like, and a lot of, you know, most of the time it, it was you, but now, you know, the last couple uh, those last couple songs you mentioned, Insomnia and Blink and, and Chaparral, everyone kind of co-wrote those together. So that's interesting. Um, give a good change up to, to what you guys were doing before. But, um, you know, so for, for, you know, for somebody who hadn't seen you guys live, you know, I like to, I like to understand and, and kind of um, get an idea from, from you. Like, what do you want people leaving, uh, you know, a show feeling whenever you, uh, whenever they come and they come to a Moss show you know, they don't know what to expect. Maybe they're coming to a showcase. Maybe they're going to be at the, one of those South by Southwest. Like what's the feeling you want to leave them with whenever they, uh, they leave the doors. Yeah. I like, um, I think I just want people to have a good time. Like I know that's like, it's kind of just a <laughs> cliche, simple thing to say, but like, I, I we we do have like energetic concerts we like people to dance we like people to jump around so it's not like you know it's not like going to see the symphony or anything like that but uh we'd like yeah I think we want people to leave kind of like sweaty yeah from, from just going hard and uh we like our our set that we play is all like pretty up-tempo songs like we have a we'll we'll usually play like a couple slower ones um but like for the most part, we want people just jumping and dancing and 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 really just having a good time and like feeling like they're in a safe place to kind of just like act how they want to act. Um, I think that's something I love about our concerts is I think like we attract people who like feel like they're allowed to be weird at our concerts, and uh, I think I think that's another thing we we like. Awesome. What, um, uh, you know, do you have some, some concerts that stick out to you that are like, man, like that was a, that was an awesome date that we played or like, what, what are some, some good stories you got for me on the concert side of things? Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, it's, it's hard. Like we, we on, like, we're lucky. We, we just got off a, like a two and a half week tour and it was just kind of West coast stuff um but we feel super lucky to have the fans that we have that have been showing up to the shows because I think they just get it like they're weird and like they feel comfortable being weird which and like I'm weird and so they're like oh this guy's weird too and then it's just like it's just like a good it's like a good environment so it's like it's honestly really hard like to pick a show because it just feels like the last show is my favorite most of the time <laughs> which is a good thing good problem i think yeah definitely i mean it, it's always good to be uh you know having a having an awesome time you know it's it's a grind you know from what i've heard from our other artists we've interviewed it's like it's a grind i mean like you're, you're in a different city every night you're driving through you're you're uh, you're packing stuff up you're putting stuff out um you know i think that like being able to enjoy and, and bring that benefit to you i think is is huge so i think I, i'm glad to hear that you're you guys have that awesome, you know, you have the, the last show is always the, the best show and your favorite show. Um, yeah. You know, you mentioned you guys have an up-tempo set list. Like, you know, I don't want you to give anything away or anything, but, um, you know, is it mostly your, 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 your insomnia EP that you guys will be playing, you know, coming up on this uh, upcoming, you know, run of dates here, or is it, you know, we're going to mix it up with some, some of the older stuff and, you know, for some people who may be, you know, just getting into you guys, like, what are some of those older songs that maybe you should, people should check out that, uh, you know, we can maybe expect in the tour, maybe, maybe ones that are just some of your favorites. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, we play a good, like, array of our songs. We try to get, like, um, play some, some of the, 
uh, older ones that people tend to like. And, uh, but we'll definitely be playing like the full new EP. Mm -hmm. Um, And just, we kind of, we're a little bit selfish too when it comes to the songs we play. We kind of just play whatever we like, (laughs) we like to play. Uh, So, um, but yeah, we definitely, it's definitely a good mix of everything. And uh, and, uh, I think one of the older ones that we like to play is, well, we usually start the show with like uh, a little piece of this song from our Kentucky Derby album. And I think a lot of people like don't really know like what song we're playing, which kind of makes it fun, but it's called Fifty Shades of Hay. So maybe if they wanted to listen to that song, they could, which is the name of a horse. Yeah, Fifty Shades of Hay is the name of a horse, so. Very cool. Very cool. Did you did is that are the are is every uh, name of uh the songs on that album are they all horses that were in the Kentucky Derby at one point? It's it's every other yeah. Every it's every other. other is named after a horse yeah. Wow, very cool. What made you guys <laughs> want to do that? Uh, I don't know. Just like horses, like I grew up on a horse ranch. Um, and then actually the origin was like Addison. Addison like played a noise that sounded like a horse running (laughs) and and it really just stemmed from that and then we named that song uh Sea Biscuit which is uh which is a horse name and then yeah it really just kind of stemmed from there that we just started there's really no good reason it's kind of silly but I think that's it's uh you know music is just about having fun so just do what you like to do I agree with that. Man. I mean, I, I was like, you, you never know why, you know, why things are named the way they are. So I always, we, we always like to ask, like, so I'm just curious. I'm like, man, like, the Kentucky Derby, maybe the, these guys have been to Kentucky. They, they love the, they love the Derby or maybe they yeah, I don't know. like it. They love it. Yeah, cool, no, I, I like, honestly, like the Derby itself, like, like Kentucky Derbies are a little bit sad, just the way horses are treated in my opinion. But like, mm-hmm. but I just love, horses and i just you know i like the vibe so <laughs> Love it. very cool man well you know I, we were watching i was watching some of y'all's youtube videos um and some of your music videos and so like you know looked like with insomnia you guys did a music video for that one it, it seemed like you guys were like going through like different seasons and have like different elements um you know talk to me about filming that video and and you know what inspired that yeah, um, I think like a, a lot of the ideas kind of came from uh, the director we had to like put it together. Um, but I think like what he was kind of going for was just this sort of like the our original concept like that we had like kind of brainstormed was like we both we wanted to sort of display like oh is this real or is like this not real and so uh, it went it kind of went into like the different lands and like the dreaming and then it was like oh is like this hospital scene real or is he like in the snow so I think that's kind of what we're going for but gotcha and then I saw uh, there's there's a there's one that's like an animated one too so did you guys do that one too or is that something that y'all had just a a friend of y'all's did or what what did that look like it was like a heart guy (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a concept uh, that I just sort of like uh, thought would be fun. Um, and then our managers luckily knew like this um, animator, this artist um, that was willing to like willing to do it for us, and he just did a really good job. I I really love that graphic and and how it's just kind of a loop. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm I'm trying to remember what his name was. I'm looking at her stuff right now, just so I can give him a shout out because I really think he did a great job. Yeah. What was his name again? Well, we'll um, uh, it, but... we'll uh, we'll transition over uh, here. So you know, to some Pete Peterson party pack of questions, uh, kind of kind of cool. round this out. And like I think 
you know, obviously you guys have a lot of stuff coming up, you know, any, any new music on the horizon or is, you know, we're doing the touring and then going back or like, what's that, uh, what's the kind of the plan for uh, the rest of the 23 here? Yeah, we're, um, we're kind of just like touring as much as we can. Like we've gotten a couple like fun offers and like, um for like festivals that we're really excited to play i don't think i'm allowed to say about that anyway <laughs> but uh, but i'm like yeah just like really just excited to play more shows and go to new places uh like i think there's a chance we might get out to like the united kingdom this year and play a show which would be really exciting um and yeah we're we're uh we're working on some music right now we're getting in uh and uh getting into the studio with our friend Joshua who is helping produce our songs um, and just kind of like demoing out and figuring out what we want the new songs to sound like. Um, but yeah, so yeah, just playing more shows and making music kind of, kind of the typical, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's, uh, what's one place, um, you know, as you come up, like, I guess, whether it's on this next tour or not, but what's one place you want to go that you, you'd be, you know, stoked to get out to, um, and play a show at. Dude, honestly, Atlanta, I'm honestly so stoked to go to Atlanta. I've, uh, I've been to Georgia once and it was just for like a few hours. I like drove there and we were like shopped at this place. Um, there's like a store there that's like, they send all of like the urban outfitters clothes that like aren't perfect there. And so I'm like, we like went and shop there anyway. That was random, but I'm so stoked to uh, come back to Georgia. It's just so pretty and um, kind of always wanted to hang out there for a while. It'll be fun. Yeah. Sounds good, man. We'll, we'll definitely have to get a beer maybe before the show or something uh, on the 24th yeah, of absolutely. March at the Masquerade. It's going to be a, an awesome, awesome venue. It's a very unique venue. Um, they have, it's like a three different stages. So it's kind of like, have, have, you, have you been there before? Have you do that? No, no, I haven't. Okay, so it's three different stages. Um, so, like, there will be different shows playing at the same time, but everyone comes outside during, like, kind of, like, the breaks between. It's just a great melting pot of musical, you know, people. You know, you could have, like, a like kind of like a, like a teen dance show going on in one place and a heavy metal show going on in another place. And yeah, it's just, dang, a, it's just a cool, cool melting. So you'll see that when you get to... Uh, when you get here um for the for the masquerade so all right we're gonna Sick. run through i'm so to see that yeah you're gonna run through pete peterson's party pack of questions here so it's gonna be 20 questions right in a row uh there's this or that so you should be able to get them pretty quickly um cool but here we go pete peterson's party pack questions ready set cake or pie cake salad or soup salad Sunrises or sunsets? Mm. Mm, sunrise. Sunrise. I like it. Would you rather hit a home run or score a winning touchdown? Home run. Like it. You ever have a night in or a night out? What are you doing more of nowadays? I'm doing more of, of night ins. I like there's I don't have I don't have a very many friends I have I have a few very close friends so if they're busy I don't I just stay in <laughs> I like it. well I can keep the circle tight when you do go out there if <laughs> yeah you guys have a, if you do if you guys have a house party or something and your jam comes on are you more likely to do the robot or the worm the worm for sure though I always hit the worm I like it all right I'm expecting the worm on the worm I'm expecting the worm in on March 24th then in Atlanta. That'll be awesome. Okay, I'll make sure not to wear a belt because <laughs> belts hurt when you do the worm. Um, <laughs> when you go to a when you go to a Mexican restaurant, are you getting guac or queso? Oh, queso! I love queso. All right, let's go. Waffles or pancakes? There's, there, uh, I know this is this or that, but there's just too many variations of pancakes. Like, are we talking about standard? 
I always, I always, I always keep it in, ambiguous because there's a question later. I gotta keep it ambiguous. So okay, the, let's do the, pancakes then. Okay. All right. He's a flapjack guy. I like it. All right. Coffee or tea with your flapjacks? I'm fit. I'm kind of like fifties on that. Honestly, I like. I love coffee and I love tea. Either one. He's torn. I like it. All right. I'm torn. Dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Dogs. Are you more like I'm a allergic ninja? to cats? Oh, there you go. Are you more like a ninja or a pirate? Pirate. Okay. Gatorade or Powerade? Uh, I think I'm going to say Powerade just because, like, Gatorade is kind of unpredictable. It's true. The flavors are not as consistent. You don't know what you're getting anymore. Yeah, it's tough. Toast or bagel? Yeah, toast or bagel. Mm, Toast. Sourdough. I like it. Chips or pretzels? Mm, Soft pretzels? Soft pretzels. Pretzels. I like it. All right. Fries or tots? Fries. Too much salt in tots. When you sit down at home, are you watching a TV show or a movie? TV show. I think TV shows are like how the entertainment is supposed to be. More digestible. Are aliens real? Yes. We're the aliens. (laughs) Is Bigfoot real? Um, I think I think Bigfoot is one of those things that's real. It's just yes or no, but it's it's a Bigfoot is one of those things that like I think is real, but not quite in the way we think. Okay, is love at first sight real? Um, yeah, I think there's definitely something to that. I like it. All right, and this is the last question of Pete Peterson's party pack of questions. Give us two bands that we ought to check out that we might not know that you know that we need to know. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think one of the most underrated bands is a band called Truces from the UK. It's T T R R U U C C E E S S. I think it's all doubles. Uh, and their music is just insane so good uh and uh, i've never seen them live but that's because they live in a different country um and i think another band similar is like very underrated in my opinion like music is like mind-boggling um is peter cat recording co um you know peter cat so i my buddy he's really into music and he he's like dude trust me just come to the show with me and he sent me the link and i was like yeah man let's do it so um because he, he turned me on to gorilla toss and a bunch of other bands and i was like all right so i'm going to peter cat recording company uh on a wednesday sometime um sometime in april i think so i'm very excited i've heard a lot of and the, the the endorsements just keep growing so that excites me yeah that I'm- that's exciting dude yeah i'm i'm trying so hard to get out to one of their shows but my schedule is just like bonkers right now but i'm trying so hard but yeah those are my two bands i I love both those bands they're so good i love it i love it you you were you were decisive and quick peter cat recording company and truces all double letters we will check them out but uh yeah the yeah. moss here is ever it's evergreen and it grows through anything. The man Tyke James, you've joined us for Indie BNB. We appreciate <laughs> you taking the time. Anything else we need to know? I know we got the, the date coming up here in Atlanta on March 24th. They're at South by Southwest. Check them out there. Um, you know, we've got tons and tons of you know music coming out possibly this year. They're working on some stuff and they're gonna go to the UK. I mean, it's a great time to be so. in the moss. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. Is is a is great chatting with you, and uh, 
Yeah, I think uh, one, one last thing I'll say is our bass player. Our, so we recently got a new bass player. His name's Caden. But he's a really good video- videographer, and he made our most recent video, Blink. And he makes, like, kind of, like, travel um, travel documentaries uh, of, like, our tours and just kind of, like, random videos and stuff, like, that he put up. He'll put, like, clips of them on our Instagram. Um, but then on our YouTube, he'll put up, like, some really nice videos. So I would say go check those out. Love it. All right. Go check out the, the touring videos from Caden, the bass player. He's gonna be uh he's gonna get it get it rolling for him and uh you can get you can get the updates from there. Travel yeah, through their absolutely. social medias, travel through to, to get there to their uh Spotify. Um so we're excited to uh, we're excited to have you I have been on here. So we will uh we'll wrap it up here. Appreciate you taking the time, brother. You have a good rest of your day. You too, thanks so much. You got it. Yep, see you in Atlanta. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>